This is my girlfriend, Sakura. Oh, she sounds like this. Look how you're poking her in her eye. Well, I didn't see the picture. I'm sorry, Sakura. He didn't really mean that. It's not a picture of Sakura. It is Sakura. <laughs> you think I'm weird for thinking this boy is actually my girlfriend? Fair enough. If, if I really believe that, that would be weird. But think about it in your situation. Do you see the similarity? I uh, don't see what you get to me. <sighs> so much for a subtle object lesson. Anyway, my Jesus wants to know if you're ready to receive him now. Jerry. I can see you have a zeal for your saviour, and I respect you for that, I really do. But, um, after talking to you for a little while, I have to say that I think you're sincerely wrong. Wrong? But I thought you want to accept my Jesus as a saviour too. Jerry, this Jesus of yours is real. He can't hear, or feel, or speak. Hear us, Duke! Hey, trust your hands! Feel the nervous in his hands. We don't think he's not believing. You doubt him, Thomas. Your faith is misplaced, man. This flat piece of paper is worthless except for its recycling value. Blasphemer! <laughs> My Jesus was sent into hell! No, he won't. Your fake Jesus can't even walk by himself. Jesus is not a fake. I didn't say Jesus is a fake. I said this is a fake Jesus. Look, it's just a piece of cardboard with a printed card on it. No, it's not. It's my Jesus. Let go of him! Jeremy, let me have you. You're making a fool out of you. Help! Help! This grace is not still my savior. Jeremy, stop it! You're making a fool out of Trinity, there is no interdisciplinary representation. 
But even if the Jesus you believe is, is, the, is the true one, there is a difference between believing in Jesus and believing on Jesus. But how can I know him for real? The difference lies where like, uh, actually knowing him as the Saviour and knowing him personally as your Saviour. So if you want to know him, uh, Jesus is revealed to us in the Bible. The Bible is opened up to our hearts by the Holy Spirit. So we hear his voice and you believe in him and then you accept him into our hearts as our Saviour. How can I talk to him and him to me? Uh, we talk to him through prayer. Uh, we read his word, we hear his voice and then his spirit then brings it into our minds as we need it. So it's a two-way communication for sure. But I want other people to see him and they'll look at me. That's why I carry the stand-up. Now it's crashed. How can they? And Jerry, that, that's a good desire, but carrying the stand-up is not the way to do it. If you want other people to see Jesus, you have to make them see Jesus in you. If you when you know the Lord, it's his ultimate purpose to recreate you day by day in his image. So the more closer to him you become, the more like him. Wow. That sounds great! I have no lot of problem areas in my life that help me getting into that too, but with a lot of me, changing me from within, maybe people want to run away when they see me come. Uh, I have to admit, you were a bit of nerd. I mean, I knew the lot, and you still made me feel like comes with the capital G stuff, yes. <laughs> yeah. I guess it might have been a bit of fun too. I guess I was really dependent on a religion crutch, and I had a tendency to keep people away.